everyone welcome back to home farm videos every Friday at 6 p.m. Today is a very very important day and a very exciting day for us here on the farm today is the day that our new store cattle arrive basically what we do is we buy in store cattle during the spring about March time we run them through the fields and sort of fatten them up on grass and then we sell them on in the winter um, when they're ready to go and feed lots or if we've got really good heifers sometimes we sell them on for uh, breeding. We've got 60 store cattle coming up from Devon today and um, just because the weather's so weird at the minute and like we had snow last week in March we don't want the cows to go backwards so what we're going to do is feed them some haylage which we made last year so they don't go backwards and they keep their condition. Let's get on and get a haylage bale put out ready for when the cows turn up. What have we found, Ryan? So we're just on the way round to put in the bale in for the cattle and we've just found an egg on the wall of our slurry pit. What do we think it is? A duck. I don't know, I think that's a snake. No. <laughs> it's not a snake. I don't know. Rabbit. It, rabbit. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Right, let's get this bell put in. Does that not look straight? What's that? Is that missing a leg? Missing a leg? Well, it doesn't look left, if you know what I mean. Let's get the pen knife out and we're going to cut this bale open. basically used to keep it dry and helps it ferment. We've got to unwrap the bale twine, which is around the bale, which just keeps it all together.
Right, so that's the bale in, and it smells really nice, doesn't it, Ran? Some yeah. good stuff. Um, it's completely organic. We've got some land um, away from the farm, which we use to make haylage each year. And um, yeah, it's really good stuff. Uh, it's a little bit damp on top. Um, but yeah, it smells good, and hopefully the cows will enjoy it. Yeah, summer, since it was so dry and there was nothing out in the field, we had a little vermin infestation um, and a couple of the bales got chewed a little bit. This is one of the bale ones. A bit weird that we're feeding uh, haylage in March, but there's literally not, well, it's not the fact that there's not much grass. It's just really cold, isn't it? Yeah, it's not growing yet. Yeah. And the cows that we bought have been in a barn all winter and we don't want them to come here and go backwards because they've got no hard food. So by giving them a little bit of haylage, it will hopefully keep their condition on. Um, and they're continental animals, which basically means they do much better on hard food. Um, so yeah, we want to make sure they have food in front of them before the grass gets growing so they don't go backwards. So here we've got our new, um, uh, I don't know what it is to be honest, what it's called, contraption. We've got <laughs> a new contraption here. Um, so basically we put molasses in here, put the lid back on. Then the cows will lick this, and then they'll, they'll lick the molasses off of that. Um, and it's, the molasses is basically a little sweet treat that is, that's good for them, a bit like salt. So we're gonna get these put in the field and then fill them up with the molasses. Got our IBC over there, ready for when the cows come. So here we've got our molasses tank, which Ryan's just filling up the watering can with the molasses or trying to <laughs> Could you huh? imagine that? What? Could you, could you imagine getting in a swimming pool full of molasses? That would not be good would it? Right so we've got our watering can full of molasses um, ready to pour over the bale. The reason we put molasses on the haylage, the cows really enjoy it and it's good for them. So it's like a little treat. But first of all, we've got to get this bale spread around. So let's get on with it. Here we go. So we've spread the bale around a little bit. Um, basically just taking a few layers off to make it easier for the cattle. So the molasses is all full up now. This little, basically little tub. It's completely full of molasses. Don't want to drop my phone in there. Um, and we've had a bit of an experience with the molasses, haven't we, Ryan? Yeah, um, it's really sticky and really difficult to use. But anyway, <laughs> this is filled up now. So this spins round and then basically the cows just lick it off of there. I hope they like it because I'm not a fan myself. But um, anyway. It looks like you've been trying to use it. <laughs> in your face. So that is everything done now. We put the haylage bales out and we put the molasses over the top of it, ready for when the cows turn up. Basically, like we showed you, it just fills up with molasses and then the cows go along and they lick it and then they, uh, the molasses goes on their tongue pretty much. So it gives them something to do, keeps them happy. And um, yeah, molasses is like a sweet to cows. So it's pretty good to, good for them, but they do enjoy it a lot. So um, yeah, that is everything done now. All we've got to do is get ready for when the cows turn up. So we've got about 60 cows out here, 
so they're just following me now because I've got a bit of grub. Um, and pretty much they've come from a farm in Devon and um, they've been inside all year. So we've got just a bucket of hard food, which we give them each day or every couple of days just to keep them keeping their condition on. We don't want them to go back or lose weight. And it also keeps them quiet. So they're coming up now. So let's get them some grub. 60 uh, Simitel cattle, uh, which is basically a European breed of cows, which is known for their uh, being made alone, but they put on a lot of weight, but you do need some hard food, otherwise they do struggle a little bit. concern is as you can see because there is 60 of them out here they are really churning up the field so we want to sort of get them separated into different groups and get them off to different parts of the farm as quickly as we can so we haven't got as many trampling down the ground um, but it also doesn't help the amount of rain we've had the last couple of days um, basically the same thing happened around here last year because we put a feeder in and um, the same thing's happened again already, and it's only March, so hopefully it should dry out. So we're just here um, cleaning out the feeder, getting some of this grub closer to the sides of the feeder, so it's easier for the cows to eat. We've also got a cow over here demonstrating how the molasses little toy works. They're literally just licking it and then the molasses is coming up onto their tongue. <laughs> Looking good.
my molasses feed is getting good use. Don't really want to go over there and disturb them. But basically what they're doing is literally just licking the rollers and that's bringing the molasses up and going onto their tongue. They're having a good time. But that's going to be it for this week's video guys so thank you very much for watching make sure you like and subscribe and uh, turn notifications on so you don't miss any further videos on the channel uh, we got our 60 simitel store cattle and uh, hopefully they grow up well thank you very much for watching and we will see you later bye for now